Today, I will talk about the newest medication that was just approved for patients with polymyalgia aromatica. And I will also cover how we usually treat polymyalgia aromatica. As I previously explained to you, PMNR or polymyalgia aromatica is an inflammatory type of arthritis that I commonly see in my practice. PMNR causes muscle aches and stiffness, usually around the shoulders, neck and hips. It can be quite disabling. If you are someone that was recently diagnosed with PMNR, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In this video, I will answer you a lot of questions like, what is the most common treatment for polymyalgia aromatica? How to taper down the medication that we use for PMNR? What are the newest treatments that were just approved and they might be helpful in your case? if you struggle with polymyalgia aromatica. Let's begin. Rheumatologistoncall.com Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Diana Gernita, a double certified physician in rheumatology and internal medicine. And I'm the founder of Rheumatologist on Call, which is a telemedicine practice helping patients all around the United States. In a previous video, I have discussed the most common signs and symptoms of polymyalgia aromatica that can affect the shoulders and hips, causing severe pain and sometimes immobility. Today, I will talk about the treatment of PMNR and I will start answering this question. What is the most common treatment for PMNR? The main medication used to treat PMNR is prednisone. Prednisone is a steroid medication that is the most powerful anti-inflammatory medication that we have. This medication will quickly improve PMNR symptoms for most patients, usually in a matter of days. If you don't respond to prednisone, then the diagnosis of PMNR is questionable. What is the recommended dose for prednisone? When treating PMNR, doctors usually start prednisone at around 15 mg per day. Some patients may need a higher dose, like 20-25 mg if the symptoms are severe. However, the dose is decided by your doctor based on the symptoms that you might have. As I mentioned, within a few days to a few weeks, most patients will find their muscle aches and stiffness much improved on this medication, the prednisone. Once the symptoms are controlled, the goal is to slowly taper down the steroids over months. And I underline that. The dose is decreased over months, not days, not weeks. Depending on the patient, the dose is usually lowered by 2.5 mg every 2-4 to four weeks. Once you reach 10 mg daily, then the tapering goes down even slower with 1 mg per month to prevent further flare-ups or recurrence of this disease. That is why it will take up to 1 year, sometimes 2 years, to decrease the dose of prednisone and finally stop. Steroid Side Effects Glucocorticoids like prednisone, they carry numerous potential side effects, especially with prolonged use over months or years. So monitoring and preventing these adverse reactions is crucial. Common side effects will include elevated blood glucose, high blood pressure, bone loss, which can lead to osteoporosis and fractures, cataract, glaucoma, weight gain, and changes in the appearance of your face, which can become round. Steroids also increase the risk of infection, so make sure you get a bone density test, like a DEXA scan, to check for osteoporosis. Your doctor can also prescribe calcium and vitamin D to support the bones, and even additional medications like bifosphonates to prevent bone loss. If you want to learn more about prednisone side effects, you can watch this video in my channel. Relapsing or refractory PMNR. In some cases, like people with diabetes, severe osteoporosis, or people developing severe side effects from prednisone, we need to change the prednisone with another medication that we call steroid sparing agent. This medication is most of the time methotrexate. 
In some patients, despite caution tapering with one milligram per month, some patients may develop a relapse of their disease. So what does it mean? It means that when the dose of the prednisone is decreased, the symptoms may come back. In these cases, we try other medications that we will discuss next. In 2023, a new medication called Sarilumab, FDA approved for patients with PMNR that could not tolerate the prednisone taper. Sarilumab is an IL-6 inhibitor that was proven to help inflammation. In this study, there were included 118 patients with relapsing PMNR, those that received sarilumab 200 mg every two weeks in combination with 14 weeks of prednisone taper, they achieved remission faster and they were less likely to relapse once the remission was achieved. They also received a lower cumulative dose, which means that they received lower doses of prednisone over the time that they needed treatment. They also received a lower cumulative dose of steroids over time, plus the frequency of side effects were lower in the sarilumab arm of the study compared to people that received only steroids. Another IL-6 inhibitor drug called tocilizumab showed similar results in a much smaller study with 36 patients with new onset PMNR. These patients, which received subcutaneously every week tocilizumab, they achieved remission faster. In a larger study, which was a randomized control trial of 100 patients with relapsing PMNR, patients were assigned to receive intravenous tocilizumab. They were again more likely to achieve reduction in the disease activity and the glucocorticoid dose at 24 weeks was smaller. The glucocorticoids were discontinued more in patients who received tocilizumab, 49% versus 19%, and infections were the main issues in both of the treatment groups. Other medications like rituximab, one infusion followed by the use of steroids, also showed some promising results, but there is also a significant risk for developing side effects with rituximab. TNF-alpha inhibitors were also tried in some patients, but they had variable results. I hope this video gives you a better understanding about your options to treat PMNR. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about PMNR treatment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support my educational channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon. rheumatologistoncall.com